Father, I want to appreciate you. I want to thank you. I want to really appreciate you for these great men and great women all over the world that believe that you are the one that sent me, that believe that this truth is the only truth that they want to hear. Lord, I want to thank you for their belief, for their conviction that you have the eternal life. And this is the only truth that leads to eternal life. Father, I pray you will strengthen them. I pray you will encourage them. I pray you will with them. I pray, Father, nothing will sweep them away from this journey. I pray you will keep them going. You will keep them protected. I pray that your light will continue to shine upon their life in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, Amen. I pray that no evil man, no evil woman will touch this one. I pray, Father, in glory, as they go day by day, now by now, let your grace be sufficient for them. Let your grace, O oh Lord, be made available for them. Let your light continue to shine upon their life. Anywhere they go, anything they thought, let blessed begin to flow in their life. In the name of Jesus, Holy Father, thank you because you are worthy to be praised. Lord, come down this morning and minister to us in a language who we understand. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For you alone be glorified. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In the book of uh, John chapter 17, I'm going to take you from verse 1 to 10. Another person will take you from 10 to 20. Why the other person will finish it? This is the prayer Jesus Christ prayed for the disciples before Jesus departing to return it back to heaven to prepare, to prepare the mansion, the paradise, wait for you and I. I read from verse 17, from verse 1 to 10. There, the, those are these words Jesus spoke and lift up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify thy son, that the son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, as many thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they may know thee, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, who thou hast sent, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou givest me to do. And now, O Father, Glorify thou me with thee, with thy own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have man, I have manifest, I have manifest the name unto the man which thou givest me out of the world. That the, they and thou they would, and and thou givest them me, and they have kept the world. Now they have known that all things, all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. I have given unto them the war which thou givest me, and they have received them, and have no sure that I came out of thee, and they, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou givest me, for they are thou. And all are mine, all and all are and all and, and all are mine, thou, and thou are mine, and I I am glorified in them. Amen. Amen. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Love. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I came to thee, Holy Father. Keep true thy own name, those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. While I was with them in the world, I kept them, I kept them in thy name, those that thou hast given me, 
I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now I came to thee, and these things I speak in the word, that them that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the word has created them because they are because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but that thou should thou should keep them from the from evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy, sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. And, and for their sake, I sanctify thy, myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Verse 20. Neither Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall, shall believe on me through the, their word. 21, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 21 says, that they all may be one as thou, Father, thou art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that thou hast sent me, and the glory which thou givest me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. 23, I in them, and thou in me, that they may make that, that they may make they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou art sent me, and thou love them as thou hast loved me. 24, Father, I will that the also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. 25, O righteous Father, the world had not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. Last verse 26. And I have declared unto thee, them thy name, and we declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Amen. God bless you. This is was a prayer Jesus Christ prayed for you and I before departing away from this earth returning to do the final work that he has promised that he's going to prepare for us. If you go back a little, you, you will see in Matthew and John chapter 14, verse 4, verse, John chapter 14, verse 1. It said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house, there are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for thee, for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and I will receive you unto myself that where I am, then ye also may be there. If you read, if you check, and uh, Jesus said in where we read before in John chapter 4, 17, if you read, uh, if you read verse, uh, verse, um, Seven, uh, 24 say father i will i will that they also who thou has given me be with me where i am where is that place that jesus was talking about jesus was talking about the paradise where the saint is going to be the saint are those people that separated themselves away from the things of this world the saint are those people who has given their life to Christ, that are separated away from sin, that are saying, no, this Bible, this is not a novel, neither a dictionary. I obey what is on it. I follow holiness. I will not jeopardize with the standard. Those are the people that will enter 
that we move away when Jesus Christ returns. The topic of this morning is spiritual unity based on living, living in Christ. Spiritual unity based on living in Christ. Based on living in Christ. Living in Christ simply means live in Christ that your life is not the life of Christ. The people are seeing you and seeing Christ in you. Spiritual unity. Jesus was praying for this unity for the church. The unity of the spirit that if we are one on this group, we have one mind, one spirit, I tell you, we can be able to love the world. But if we are not, you, if we don't have this unity of the spirit, as we come together this morning, all our program will not work. But when we are connected with the spirit, be in one, that is only where we can able to wrap this program to another level. Is that not true? Is that not true? Is that not true? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That, is, yes, sir. That, is, that is just the truth. We can gather physically people are seeing thousands of people on Zoom, hundreds of people, but in spiritual, we are scattered. But when we are scattered spiritual, I tell you, you can see some marriages that are together in physical, but spiritual, they are not together. This is a problem. But when we are one in the spirit, having the mind of Christ, living in Christ, I tell you, living in Christ, for you to live in Christ, you must first of all be regenerated and walk and surrender your life. Say, Lord Jesus, my will be lost, your will be done in my life. And when the will of God be done in your life, when you not have this mind, this is the only the principle way you can live in Christ. It is very, very important. The unity that Jesus prayed for, prayed for, was not of organization, not the unity of organization, neither for the unity of what of the society, but the spiritual unity based on living in Christ. We saw that in verse 23 where we read in the, uh, John chapter 17, 17 verse 23 it says, I in them and thou in me, that they may be made perfect, made perfect in one. Do you know that this prayer, it was this prayer that enabled the apostles of old. You could see that how they run their ministry, there was no war, there was no noise. There was no misunderstanding. There was no somebody say, hey, Peter, don't you know that you didn't go to school that I go to school? Don't you know that you don't know anything that I know something? There was no such thing like that. But Peter, that on learning man, lead the people it, because it was not based on what? On the on physical knowledge. It was based on spiritual knowledge or to run the world, the, to do the work of God is based on what? The spiritual knowledge that the Holy Ghost have imparted on the person. I don't know if I'm communicating. Are we together? Are we yes, together? Eh? If yes, you sir. God bless well, you. Yes, sir. God bless you. Yes, you, may, you may have the physical wisdom. The wisdom you may be you may be educated. You go to school, you have certificate, they are so wonderful. But when you don't when you are when you don't have the education of the Holy Spirit you cannot able to do this work. You need to be educated by what? By the Holy Ghost. It was based on this that enabled Peter to run the ministry without lack of any area. You know that Peter never lacked to lead the people. The church to be, to be unity. There was no such, there was no one day Peter Lack, or hey, how can I able to to run to run this mission that we live on my hand? There was no such thing like that. Why? Because Peter allowed the uh, allowed accept the education from the Holy Ghost. 
It is something very, very important. Now, knowing, knowing and experience the love of the Father and the fellowship of Christ. In verse 26, we saw that he said, I have declared unto them their name, and we declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. If, the, if that love of Jesus Christ be in you, brothers and sisters, this love of Jesus Christ is undescribable. There is no, there is no body that can able to define the love Jesus Christ has for us. But if these particles, I call these particles, some of it, a, a little particle of this love of Jesus be deep, be dropped inside your heart, I tell you, my brothers and sisters, you can, you can, you will begin to see the emptiness of this world. That is the, the particle that Christ has dropped in my heart. That is something that will be helping me, that will be helping me moving, moving. Brother, when that particle is on you, you never think, you can't think about your life anymore. You will be thinking, of, what can I do to save order? Because this is the particle that was dropped upon Peter's heart, that was dropped upon John's heart, that was dropped upon Philip, or the rest of Apostle, Apostle Paul himself. This is the particles that helped them, for them to see themselves, their world, they are not sheep that are ready to be slaughtered at any time for the sake of others who are there, who are lost. This is that love, the unity that we must pursue in time like this. We must do everything possible to carry one another it is something very, very important. Now, separating from the world, Let's see in John chapter 17, verse 14, verse 14 to 16. Look at it. He said, I have given them the word, and they and the world hate them, you, because they are not of the world. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Man, the world, that the world is going to hate you because you fail to tell lies, you fail to cheat, you fail to dress the way they want you to dress. They will fail to join them for error. They will hate you. They will not like you. Your husband can even hate you. Your wife can hate you because you tell wife, wife, what you are doing is no good. I will not support you to cheat God. You know that your wife can hate you. Don't support Eve. Don't be like Eve. Don't be like Adam. You know that I wish Adam rebuked Eve when that Eve went to go and block that that forbidden food, things could have not been like this today in the world. Do you understand that? I wish Eve did not start discussion with Satan, negotiating with Satan, it could have not happened. You know, that was a negotiation. I wish when, when that serpent came, uh, Eve shot that serpent, said, serpent, get behind me, because the discussion has been given to me. I can't do by that with the standard. Do you know that if Eve, out of that place, that, that negotiation could have not continued. You know that. Don't be like Eve, woman. Don't be like Adam, man, Ursa. There is a need to be like what? The Adam, the second Adam, which is Christ. There is a need to stand and to say no. Now, you must know that people are going to hate you. He said, I pray not that thou should, should take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from the from the evil. You need to know that no matter the evil that is raging in the world, no matter the sickness, the coronavirus, no matter the trials, no matter even the ones that will still come, my brothers and sisters, don't be what afraid. I said what? I said what? I said what? Don't, don't be afraid. afraid. Don't be afraid. afraid. Because he that is in you is capable to, to, to sustain you. Uh, don't be what? Don't be moved. Even somebody is telling you, hey, you have skipped thousand. Tell the person, hold your peace. You will not die by the trouble that are on this world because mm -hmm. Jesus has already prayed for you. 
Amen. Are you hearing me? And this prayer is the one that helped the apostle. The prayer is still going to help you or to you. Amen. So, apostle Paul never died before. Apostle Paul didn't die before his ministry end. You know that. He fulfilled his ministry before. He know that when he, he even to a level, Apostle Paul know that he's about to walk, to depart away from the world. You know that. Am I right? Eh? Yes, sir. If you have not started your ministry now, how will not God allow the coronavirus issue, the trouble of this world to kill you? Eh? Remember Peter. Remember John. Do you know that they could not kill John? Do you know why they, they could not kill John? That's part of what they do to kill John. Why? Because John had not written the book of Revelation. Mm. Are you hearing me? They tried all their best to kill him. But they couldn't succeed to kill him. Why? If they keep, if they kill John, who could have written, who could have written down the book of Revelation? Mm. Do you understand that? Eh? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Go and check. As soon as the book of Revelation was complete, that was the time. You need to know that nothing can able to kill you. No, no don't be afraid. Don't let fear kill you. You know, fear can even destroy your spiritual life. You know that if yes, your spiritual life is affected by fear, that is the beginning of your downfall. But I pray for you that God will give you boldness. Amen. God will give you the grace. God will give you the ability to work for you to continue this journey. Mm -hmm. And nothing can kill you on this journey. It can't be otherwise. Why? Because he's able to, to protect us. He's able to save us to the uttermost part of the world. My brothers and sisters, I am encouraging you that the Lord of heaven will be with you. He said, they are, in, they are not of the world. Even as I am not on the wall, you need to know that you are not on the wall. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the wall, but what? But not of the wall. If you are not of the wall, why will you be dressing like the people of the wall? If you are not of the wall, why will you be afraid of the people like the people that are in the wall? Why will you be acting like the people that are in the world? If you are not in the world, why will you not begin to focus on the things of this world when you are not of this world? You need to have this mind. He says, sanctify. He says, sanctify in truth. There is a need of being sanctified in truth. Look at verse 17. He says, sanctify them through, war, through the truth. The world is truth. Who is this truth? The truth is what is Jesus himself. Do you know that? Jesus is the embodiment of what? Of truth. Mm -hmm. It says sanctify them through the truth. The word is what is truth. You know that the word of God is the spoken word. The spoken word, the spoken word of God is what is Jesus himself. Mm -hmm. I pray God of heaven will help us. Then he begin to read that again in verse 19. He said, and for they, he said, for their sake, I sanctify myself that they may also be what be sanctified through their truths. For their sake, I came down to this world for them mm -hmm. to what to receive the knowledge. And they, for them to be sanctified. You know that I wish Jesus really came down to this world to die. We could have not be sanctified. We could have not be king. We could have not be separated away from sin. Do you understand that? Eh? Yes, sir. Are you come? I don't know if you are getting what we are saying this morning. Yes, sir. That is, I wish that is what Jesus Christ is revealing to me right now in this place of 19. He said, for their sake, I came down. That is the meaning of that 19. For their sake, I came down. I sanctified myself. That they may also be what be sanctified through what through their truth as I, as I gave them the message that they may be free, that they may repent and have what and have and be separated in mm -hmm. sin. That is the revelation. Ooh, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because of the time. It's a receive and what and believe. They receive the word and believe. 
believing the truth of the war of the war. If we, if we can see six eight six eight uh, John chapter seventeen six eight. He said, I have magnified thy name unto them which thou givest me out of the world. That there thou we and thou and that that and that giveth them me, and they have what have kept the world. Many of you have had the gospel. You have decided to say, I have decided to what to follow it. I pray that you will not stop in halfway. I pray that the Lord will continue to strengthen you. Amen. I pray that he will continue to envelop you more and more. In verse 8, Amen. it says, For I have given unto them the word which thou hast given me. Just as you have been hearing the gospel for me, I have given you the word that Jesus Christ has given to me. You know, Jesus was sent, and now he sent me to deliver the mercy to you. I have given you the word, the mercy. He said, I have given them, I have given unto them the word which thou have given me. And they have received them, and I have I, and have no sure that I came out of the out of thee. And they have re- believed that thou that, and that thou didst send me as you believe. May the God of heaven begin to bless you in Jesus' name. Oh, 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 being obedient to the war, being obedient to the war. And the desire to be saved, the desire to work, to bring salvation to the lost out there, the desire. I pray that you will be obedient child. You will not be disobedient child. Obedient mm-hmm. child who say whether the master is around or the master is not around. I would have decided to obey. I have decided to be faithful. I have decided to be to be sincere because I know master will come at all at any time. Brothers, I pray that God of heaven will help you and I for us to continue this journey, for us to do everything possible to bring salvation to the Lord. Look at verse 21. It said that that, that they all may be one as well as thou, Father, art in me, and I in thee that they also may be, be one in us, that the world may believe that thou sent me, thou have sent me. I pray that through you, that other people will believe and come to the knowledge and to have eternal life in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. When any of those, all those people, any of you are facing anything, Jesus is saying, I will always be there. I will always be there. Brothers and sisters, pray for the unity, spiritual unity based on the living, living in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Do everything possible <clears throat> to live in Christ. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, live in Christ. Let people see Jesus in you. You dress, let people see Christ in you. You are, let people see Christ in you. Anything you are doing, let people see in Christ in you. This morning, you can bow down your head because of our time. If tomorrow God help us, we may continue in this place tomorrow also. I want you to pray that God of heaven will give you this spiritual unity. That spiritual unity that Christ prayed on that day. You know, many people, they are departing right now. Jesus is coming. Many people are going back to what they have omitted. You know that? Those are among all the multitude that say on that day, you know, when multitude follow Jesus, some of them they hear the gospel, they begin to depart. Many Christians that are standing on holiness before, now many of them, they are returning back to what they are coming. But Jesus is telling us will you still return back? You can tell him right now, Lord, no. This prayer will sustain me to the end. As if as this prayer work for Apostle Paul, Apostle James, Apostle Peter, Apostle Thomas, this prayer will work for me. Why can't you begin to pray now? Open your mouth and begin to talk to God. Say, Lord, I have received of this prayer. This prayer will help me to continue this, to continue this journey. 
pray for spiritual unity, that nothing we will will poison your mind, nothing we will will discourage you, nothing will shift you away, nothing will make you to return back to what you have for me, nothing will make you to negotiate with Satan. Thank God, I will not be like that Adam. I will not be like Eve. I have made up my mind to follow the Lord. Talk to God this morning. Brother, pray. Sister, pray. Talk to God this morning. I am not hearing you. you pray. pray this morning, you that are there. Eternal Father. I receive it. We want to pray. Prayer will sustain the, the apostles of the old. I want to bless you, Father. The grace is that I open my eyes to see you again. Lord, for my sake, you came down to this world. You died for me to be alive. Therefore, Father, help me. Daddy, oh Lord, thank you, Father. This prayer, he walked in the life of Apostle Paul. He walked in the life of Apostle Peter, Apostle John, all the rest of Apostles. Father, it will work much more for me a time like this. Why? Because the time of Apostle Paul, a time of Apostle John, Lord, the world was not crazy like this. Lord, my Father, righteous Redeemer, I am praying, Holy Ghost, Father, you will help me. You will help your children and I say, no, I have made up my mind. Those that I say right now, I follow the truth. Those that I say right now, I will not negotiate with Satan. Those that I say right now, in secret and in public, I must stand to fight against evil. I must not commit sin. Those that are saying that, Lord, I pray you will help all of us. Lord, I pray for them. This prayer in the book of John chapter 17, Father, let this prayer be activated in my life. Let this prayer be activated in the life of every member of Goodman Just Family Foundation, all those that are hearing us all over the world. Let this prayer be activated in their life. Let this prayer be activated in the life of my wife. Let this prayer be activated in the life of all our children. Let this prayer be activated, oh Lord, in the life of all Christians in the name of Jesus. Lord, I am praying for spiritual unity. I pray, Lord, you will keep us in that unity. I pray you will keep every man or woman, all the married men, married sister, you will keep their whole in unity. Lord, there will not be separation. Lord, you will keep them in unity. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, do and help Father in glory. And let your name be glorified. Glory, Father. Father, you said, oh Lord, my Father, we are not in the world. Father, help us to separate the way from everything that will cause offense to you. Blessed be the holy name because you are faithful, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Pray Amen. You, Lord, the blood of Jesus Christ will speak for you. Amen. Amen. The blood of Jesus Christ will keep you and the Lord Amen. will protect you. This will be precious to you. This Amen. will be the week of blessing. Even you that are mm. going to pay right now because of the time, because of the difference of time, the Lord of heaven will keep you. As you Amen. Know, that, the light of God will shine on you. This Amen. In the name of Jesus. Those that are going to walk, I pray, my Father, those that heard them before, they will begin to favor the Those that heard them before, we begin Amen. to favor In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I pray for divine favor. Let favor, Amen. favor, oh Lord, my Father, locate them. You know where they are. Let Amen. favor, let their name be called. Any office they enter, anywhere they go, let favor go with them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Amen. 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 Jesus name we have prayed.